So back in London again, three days after I left London, <laughs> after the party last Friday, um, here for work interviews, meetings with guys in the industry to talk about how to solve the problems in a state agency. So I'm just leaving the flat Battersea, going to somewhere in the city, and here's my route. So starting here, that's the route there. The fastest route is actually bus and then circle line. I love just being on the bus all the way. So that's the bus all the way. And I'm going to be hopefully upstairs on the front of the 344 bus to see my local boy. And this is my first outing with my new, very nice brown leather backpack that Amory got me for Christmas. Filled with video gear and laptop and stuff and cameras. So I'm going to be looking like a traveller. every day on my way to work. My first ever job in London back in the, was it back in 1990? Fenchurch Street, Grace Church Street. Always enjoy coming back here. Always very happy I don't work here now. <laughs> it's like, felt like a prison. Meeting Rusty in here. I am meeting Russell Quirk. Can we please? My shoe choice this morning is between these and some leather brown brogues. If I'd been wearing my leather brown brogues, I wouldn't have made the bus. Right, is it alright? Alright. Russell's gone to get me a coffee, which is good because we've got time to set up. Um, and we've got a good hour and a half, so it's going to be a good chat, I hope. This little rucksack has been amazing. I've not been able to get into it. It's like a little TARDIS. Looking statesman-like. <laughs> really? <laughs> if only. We provide the street name, bedrooms, property type, freehold, leasehold, all that kind of And how soon the seller wants it on the market. Just finished my two hour interview with Russell Quirk. And that was a marathon, a bit exhausted, and now I've got to go and speak to Christian Byfield, who's not chatty at all. <laughs> so I'm going to be drained by some places. Look at this amazing building. Oh, it's Liverpool Street Station, I think. I should know, really. Yeah, it is. I love all this colourful light stuff. It really brightens up a walk through London. I lived here for 20 years. I still love being here. There's a big smile on my face. It's an amazing place, amazing buildings, very hectic. I'm going to be with Christian very shortly. Didn't know he was such a close walk. Bingo! It's 3.40 and I've just realised I haven't had any lunch. No wonder I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> Horse and groom. I'm not sure what that image has to do with the horse and groom. It's cool. Oh, the Mondrian Hotel. It's There's literally so much to look at on every single street. It's made out of cans. Love it. So I'm guessing these are some of Christian's local competitors. Sony Upgrade, Dexter's. Saddles. You know, it's 2022 when there's a Tesla parked outside a veggie prep. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Yum. 
That was actually quite a tasty sandwich, even though it's vegetarian. Um, and I'm about to walk into base property. Here we are, the HQ of the Viking himself. Hello, babe. Hey, it's Charlie. Charlie to see Christian. Hi, coming in. So it's one of your negotiators, so is it? You'd had, you'd bought through that agent and you'd had a good experience and you were happy with their valuation. That was intense. As I knew it would be, hopefully. Yes. Oh, and it's clean. You got the car clean. Yeah, Thank but you. I, I, they took too long, so I had to just run before they did these. The door shuts, never mind. Um, would you like to drive or would you like me to drive? Okay. What was that last bit? I hate driving in London. Okay, I'll drive. Uh, so the hand car wash has been a bit rough. Yeah. Look at those sparkly windows. Oh yeah, those sparkly windows up there. This is Tower Bridge, guys. Look up there. Look up. See? It's above us as well. And this bridge opens like that to let big ships go underneath it. Wow. So we're leaving London on our way to Bristol for another meeting for work to interview someone else who's started a new property podcast. Have you guys spent enough time in the car in the last few days? Yeah. A little bit too much. Are you bored of the car? Are you bored of the car? <laughs> Lions, tigers and rhinos? What? Yeah. What? You're going to have much more fun than me. I'm going to the estate agent's office to interview him on camera. Plus the children's playground. Elephants and tigers <laughs> and rhinos. Have fun. But I'm still getting, I can't come off number one because, I mean, who can? I think we, we as agents have to be realistic of that at this stage. You There's can't no come other because option. Because it helps you to sell the properties or because you wouldn't be able to win instructions without it. So while I've been in my meeting, what have you guys been doing? What did you do? We saw lions. What? And yes, we did. And girls went. Where did you see them? And bears. Um, at an at outdoor zoo. freezing cold zoo. <laughs> We saw some elephants. Real oh, ones? Favorite. Yeah. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Some monkeys. Well, my meeting went well, thanks for asking. Well, that was a quick 48 hour trip to London for two nights and two interviews uh, on Wednesday and another interview today in Bristol and back in Devon. An awful lot achieved. So um, thank you, Russell, for your time. Uh, always interesting to talk to you and great to see you again, Christian, in your offices in Shoreditch. And lovely to meet Andrew Simmons from Parker's Estate Agents uh, just outside Bristol. A whole lot of really interesting video content coming from those guys uh, and we're going to put it up uh, uncut. All three of them will go up full length uncut for anyone that's interested in the whole, whole conversation and then we're going to cut them up into smaller sections for each topic and each question that we ask. But I um, hope you enjoyed that vlog and keep on following to see how Best Agent is going to be trying to change the future to be fairer for agents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.